So do you find it more complex, more work uh, when you're working with uh, a business that has multiple owners? You know, that's interesting. It Most of the time, I won't even get started until I've clearly defined the expectation. So whether it's five owners or one owner, I want to make sure everybody is on the same page because <laughs> when I'm speaking for them, I want to make sure I'm speaking with one voice. So most of the time, I can get the partners to agree and we can agree on one person that I'm going to communicate with. And then they talk to the partners. I'll tell you where it gets tricky is with family members. When family members are trying to buy a business or family (laughs) members are trying to sell a business, getting them all together, it gets really tricky. So family members to me is probably a little bit more emotional and tricky than partners only because I have learned over the years to get all those partners together on the front end. Yeah, I, I bet you're, uh, you're you're part therapist sometimes, right? Getting them all <laughs> singing the same notes. Hey, man, don't say part. I am absolutely. <laughs> I, I've got a I got a sister and brother in law with master's degree from from Boston University in therapy, and I can hold my own with them when we're having <laughs> conversations, right? So there's no question about it. You know this statement that you've heard many times. You know it's <laughs> it's just business, not personal. Well, if you're a small business owner you know, it is very personal. And so all of this is post personal. And most of the choices and decisions small business people make are because of personal interests and motivations. And so you have to get that first, so that it makes the actual deal structure much easier to put together. 